guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I'm never going to get tired of saying that, that's for sure. But right now we're still in Xanarkand. We're on the overpass. We just beat our first boss and we're following Auron. What are you laughing at, old man? Auron, let's get out of here. We are expected. Huh? Give me a break, man! Right here's kind of our secondary boss battle. I guess you could say it's not really a boss battle, but it's more of a strategy battle. So we are surrounded by a bunch of these little flask things. I actually forgot what their names are. Um, but we're surrounded by a bunch of them. Uh, they're Sin Scales, that's what they are, because they are off that big monster whose name is Sin, now that we know. Um, but we're actually, we don't need to battle every one of them. If you look at that machine over there to the right side, we see that we can not attack it yet because they haven't realized it's there. So we're going to keep attacking the Sin Scale until they realize that that's there. Now the best thing to do is attack the ones whose wings are flickering. I know I'm kind of recording and I'm talking to myself so I got a little distracted. But best to attack the ones that wings that flicker. Hmm. But here we go, Arn's going to be a smart butt. That. Knock it down. What? Trust me, you'll see. All right, so this is where we're going to attack the machinery. Boom. Super effective cut attack. Now, like I was saying in the other episode, I hope um, you guys watched the first one. If not, there at the... If you blah, 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 if I can talk. <laughs> um, I already have put episode one out. This is actually episode two. Um, so make sure to watch that one so you kind of get the gist of the story if you don't know it yet. If you've played the game, then you obviously know what's going on here, and I should just quit talking. Um, but for those who haven't played the game, and make sure to check out episode one first so you can see that, you know, we went through... We are a Blitzballer. We're actually pretty popular. Um, now if you noticed, the Jekt guy, um, Titus did say his old man, um, assuming that that is his father. So, just letting you know, kind of remember that. Like I said, I'm going to try my best not to spoil the storyline. I'm going to go along with whatever the characters bring up and kind of go along with that. So. Go. did really good on the facial features. They also did really good in the PS2 version, but I thought that looked pretty good. You could tell that they heightened the detail of it. Like with the speckles hey. and he has a cheekbone. Hey! My old man? Alright, so circle to go down. We're gonna follow the voice. Who the heck was calling us, and why are they calling us, and why did he say, my old man? Something is fishy around here, if I knew where it was going. I 
right, let's see what this strange shadow is. I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. So here we are able to walk again. Well, I guess here we are able to swim again. Um, our, we do, we can, bleh. What is my problem? <laughs> we can snag a few items here. So we're actually gonna go to the top left first. Um, that's where we'll get our first item. And we can also find some other things here too. There's not much really to do. You can press circle to dive. And then you just kind of let it go to come back up. But we're gonna go up these stairs and see what we can find. So this is a, um, Albed Sphere. Uh, find Albed Primers to help you decipher the strange Albed language. And then that at the bottom is the Albed language that we cannot read. Albed Compilation Sphere. Use previous saved Albed Primer data to synthesize a new Albed Primer. Select Save Data to synthesize Albed Primer from... Oh. Please note that saved data from other users will not be reflected in actual Albed Primer Synthesis. So we don't have any data to synthesize because this is our first game on this PlayStation 3. Um, I didn't even have much on the PS2, just kind of the main ones that you find. So we don't have any data, so we'll just exit out of that. Um, but later on, I mean, if you're sharing your games from like the PS Vita, I believe, you can use those out bed sphere primers. Um, I believe there's a chest down here. Just make us aware. I hate to admit it, but I can't see. My screen is too dark. <laughs> so I actually can't see. So let's try our best to get up there. Okay, or not. As you can tell, though, there's a chest up there. I mean, I can see it barely. I just can't see all the anything else to do it. So I think we actually have to go back up here. Shows how much I know, right? Goodness gracious. So you go across this little bridge, obviously. And here's um, two potions, I believe. That's right. Oh, I loved that. Did you see the text and the overlay of the purple background? It's just really nice. Now, if we just go straight to the right, you're going to find another platform you can walk on before we continue on with the storyline. Um, in here is going to be some more another item that we can obtain. So let's see what we can find. If I can find the stairs, they're right in front of me. Here we go. So here we have 200 gil. All right, so those are the two items that we can get here in this first area. And then we'll just continue on. Now, if you see your map, you have actually a red triangle that will pulsate, and that's your objective and where you need to go. Now, of course, if you just go along and follow the map itself, you're gonna miss a lot when it comes to secret items and other things like that. I might actually need to turn the brightness up on my TV because I can't see. How sad is that? Give me a moment here. There we go. Aha, I can see. So here's our lovely save sphere, like I said. These are going to be your best friends. Oh, we don't want to do new data. Actually, we really do. These are going to be your best friends throughout the game. 
Um, obviously, we all know what a save is. You use it in all the other games that you use. And if there was no saves, we would be terribly sad because you wouldn't be able to turn off the game. Um, but let's first go to the left here. We're actually going to find another item in a treasure chest. He actually runs pretty smooth compared to the last game. And he's... I, I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination. But he seems a lot more easy to control. We got a high potion. Um, it's just really smooth when it comes to him walking. You're not getting stuck on a lot of things like you would have in the other game. Which is really nice. But we're going to go up. Obviously, there's going to be a cutscene. We love cutscenes. And we've fallen in the water. As you can tell, he pretty much is invincible when it comes to water. He can actually breathe underwater somehow. Maybe due to his blitz ball. Alright, so here we are. Um, we don't have a map. We actually just have to kind of dive down to in and get another cutscene. I was looking for the word engage, but that obviously didn't work. Alright, so these are monsters. We actually need to um, battle these little ones. The little ones we actually need to battle, but you'll see what happens next. And we're actually going to have to run our little little butts away. So attack, I mean, they're simple. They're not going to kill you. One hit kill most of the time, so. Did they update the music? I think they did. We'll have to get back to that. Oh, he eated him. So just letting you know we can't actually battle this thing. We need to run our little butts away from this. We actually just have to attack him, but we'll automatically run away. You can't win or lose, so don't worry about healing yourself once again. It's just kind of a battle to go along with the storyline, um, so you won't have to worry. Because once you get to a low enough health, that's when it'll cut off anyway. little burger. Go Titus, go! I'm just bones, dude. I'm, I don't have any meat on me. You can't eat me. Stop. <laughs> Alright, we got away because we are freaking awesome. Titus, that boy. made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. Oh, and here we can walk again. I was not paying attention. So we'll just walk up here. I uh, kind of just follow along for now. And then we'll see what we have to do after the cutscenes have finished.
The heat. Fire. Alright, so he needs a fire. We're actually going to go up to the right here first. Um, you can go behind here. And there's a high potion. An X potion, I'm sorry. Um, and then you're going to have to take a look here in the middle. The remains of a campfire. With flint and tinder, you could start another fire. So we're actually going to have to go find some flint and tinder. Um, you are going to be getting in a boss battle, so the best thing to do is to save it again. So you don't have to go through the whole thing. Like I said, you will be saving a lot. It's not a bad thing, though. I mean, our progress is very important, isn't it not? Alright, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to go to the northern part first. Oops, where we got that X potion. I just wanted to save that. And we're going to go in here. Now, there is other items we can get here besides Tint and Flinder. Tint and Flinder? Flint and Tinder, like an either. Um, let's go up here and see what we can find. And then here is our um, Tinder. Withered Boutique. Which is pretty much saying... That you can start it on fire because it's withered, you know. Get it? Ha! Huh. Genius game. And then there should be another item up here, I do believe. My kind Watson. You can tell the treasure chests, if you look at them, they are much more sharp than in the other games. The other games, they kind of blend it in. These ones are much more noticeable on here, which I am I like a lot, because I'm one of those people who will walk through the game and completely miss a treasure chest that's right in front of my face, because it, they always have it blend in with the background. That's just me, though. Alright, and then we're here. And we're going to go back to the left side and go through the door by the save sphere and see what we can find in here because we have to find some flint, so. And there we have it. Just our luck, right guys? I never would have guessed we would have found both of those so easily, huh? Alright, so that's all we really need to do after we find all the items. And you know what? Might as well save one more time. You better get used to it because I save a lot. There's been so many times when I've been through a game and I'm like, eh, I'll make it to the next save sphere. I don't need to save it. And then the game freezes, I die, or something impecturable happens to where one of my brother or sister or my dog will come over, sniff the button and turn it off. So saving it is an important thing when it comes to gaming. But we're gonna examine our campfire. <laughs> wow, he didn't even make a noise. need food What do, what do you, you want? want? It was a bad, bad call. call. Your, Your team, team lost because, because of you. You came to say that. that. It's, it's been, been 10, ten years. <sighs> I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. That kid is like our worst nightmare, I swear. He's everywhere. And he just torments us. Like a big bully. Uh-oh. Something's watching us. Something wants to eat us. Wait, wait! Uh, don't go out on me! Nah, nah! Just hold on. I'll get more wood. No, you won't. Oh, 
he's a show off. You see that? He's showing off and stuff. Climbing the walls like freaking Spider Man. All right, so this is our buddy Click. Give me a break. Or yeah, I guess you could probably, he's probably Cleek or something like that. Click sounds kind of lame. But our main object objective here is to just attack him. Um, we're not going to be able to beat him in the first run per se, but you'll see what happens after this. Uh, he's not very strong. He's only got about 15,000 life. Um, so just attacking him like that will be very simple. Now as you can tell, back to the graphics, like I've brought up like the whole time. Everything is sharp. The background, which is usually pretty blurry. The background, the characters themselves, the grounding area that they're battling on. It's all just very sharp and not fuzzed out like in the older game. Alright, well the door just spontaneously combusted. I guess that means we get to escape. Or not. They're killer wells. Who have knives on their guns and bazookas. Uh oh. Is she gonna help us? <whistles> Alright, so this is our lovely you on my side? sexy cool. partner for now. Using grenades. Certain items like grenades have special effects when used. These items can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability use. So we'll go to special and go to use with our question mark character and throw a grenade at click. As you can tell, it does take a lot of damage. And then we just attack with Titus. That'll be our strategy. Um, to use a grenade. And you can also steal when you run out of grenades. And you just steal another grenade from Click. So, very easy battle. They just kind of laid it out for us. Like I said, a lot of the battles sometimes are... Goodness gracious. Are here just... Just to kind of follow along with the storyline. So, just get kind of used to some of these easy ones now in the mid the beginning of the game oh, oops the beginning of the game obviously is going to be easy but as it goes on the characters you battle get pretty hard so um i want to keep at least one grenade at a time so i'm going to steal another one i mean he's not very strong it's not like he could is going to kill us so why waste all of our items on him one more grenade should probably do it though i'm assuming i thought so okay all right, goodbye, Click. You were great. But I'm going to turn my attention to her. Whoa! Unexpected. I have not seen the AP After Battle Experience screen yet. Let me tell you, I've already fallen in love. Look at that. The old one was very dull. Orange, per se. I'll try to bring up a picture if I can. Um, but this is gorgeous. This is very gorgeous. And you know what? With that gorgeous picture, I'm actually going to end the episode here. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like and subscribe. And join me in the next episode where we're going to see what happens after we beat Click. See you guys later.